Three Chinese astronauts floated into the country's new Tiangong space station on 17 June 2021, becoming the first people to be resident of China's outpost in orbit after a successful launch from a military base in Gobi Desert to start a three-month mission. Commander Ni Haisheng led the three-man crew into the space station's Tiangong module at 4:18 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Astronauts Liu Baoming and Tang Hongbo followed Ni into the Hanyang module through hatches leading from their Shenzhou 12 spaceship as the complex soared some 235 miles or 380 kilometers above Earth. After taking a few minutes to get situated, the astronauts announced they have safely arrived at a partially assembled Tiangong station and gave a military salute to officials watching from the ground. Chinese state television broadcast the event on a tape delay. The choreographed arrival ceremony capped a long day for the three astronauts who launched inside their Shenzhou 12 spacecraft on top of a long march to a rocket at 9:22:27 p.m. EDT Wednesday, that is 1:22:27 GMT Thursday. Several hours before takeoff, Ni and his crewmates put on their pressure suits at the Jiquan Space Base and rode a bus a few miles to launch pad. After reaching the top of the launch pad, the astronauts climbed inside the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft on top of the 191 foot tall, that is around 58 meters long Mars 2F rocket. Launchers, four core engines, and four strap-on boosters flashed to life to propel the astronauts off the pad at Jiquan, a military base spaceport situated in the Inner Mongolia region of northwestern China. Burning a toxic but stable combination of hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide propellants, the rocket headed east atop 1.4 million pound of thrust on a trajectory to line up with the Tiangong core module's orbit. Two and a half minute after liftoff, the four boosters and the Long March 2F core stage shut down and fell back to Earth in a remote area downrange from Jiquan, leaving the liquid-fueled second stage to finish the job of placing the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft into orbit. The rocket also jettisoned its launch escape tower and the aerodynamic shroud that covered the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft during the initial climb through the atmosphere. About eight minutes into the mission, the second stage switched off its main engine. The Shenzhou 12 spacecraft separated from the rocket moments later, unfurled its power-generating solar panels, and kicked off an automated rendezvous to catch up with the Tiangong space station. China's Human Spaceflight Agency said the Shenzhou 12 capsule completed an automated docking at the forward port of the Tiangong core module at 3:54 a.m. EDT, that is 7:54 GMT, about six and a half hours after the launch. The rapid rendezvous profile was a first for China's space program. While Chinese state television provided live coverage of the Shenzhou 12 mission's launch, the docking occurred without any public broadcast. CCTV, China's state-run television network, replayed the docking about a half hour after it happened. After equalizing pressure on each side of the passageway between Shenzhou 12 and the Tiangong core module, the astronauts opened hatches and entered the Tiangong station. Ni floated inside the complex first, followed by Liu and Tang. The three astronauts will spend the next three months testing systems on board the station, three times longer than any previous Chinese human spaceflight mission. In total, China has launched 12 astronauts into the orbit on seven crewed Shenzhou missions since 2003. NASA Administration Bill Nelson congratulated China on milestone mission. Congratulations to China on the successful launch of crew to their space station. Nelson said in a statement, "I look forward to the scientific discoveries to come." One major task for the Shenzhou 12 astronauts will be to check the performance of Tiangong's regenerative life support system, which provides breathing oxygen through electrolysis and recycles urine to make drinking water. This way, we have closed-loop resources to draw upon, which can greatly reduce dependence on ground supplies and, of course, increase the economic efficiency of the space station," said Zhao Jianping, chief designer for China's human spaceflight program. Ni, a 56-year-old veteran of two previous Shenzhou missions in 2005 and 2013, leads the three-man crew. Ni logged more than 19 days in orbit on his first two space flights. Speaking to Chinese media before the launch, Ni said the Shenzhou 12 mission's objectives of activating and outfitting the Tiangong station will make for challenging work. We will work together to conquer all of those difficulties, 
and I'm convinced that with the best wishes of my counterpart in China and the solid preparation of our training, we are capable of accomplishing this task," Ni said. The space station is quite big in size, so this flight mission lasts longer, he said. We are taking a lot of things for entertainment. We will certainly show you all those items we bring. The other two Sensor 12 crew mission are Liu Bombing and Tang Hongbo. Liu 54 participated in the first spacewalk for China's space program on the Sinzhao 7 mission in 2008. Tang is 45 years old and will make his trip into space on Sinzhao 12. Besides their task to configure the inside of the Tehane core module for the long-term operations, the Sinzhao 12 astronauts will perform two spacewalks, operate the lab's robotic arm, and conduct scientific experiments, according to Zi Kiming, assistant to the director of the China's manned space agency. For this mission, we are going to stay for a longer duration in outer space and we will conduct multiple extravehicular activities. So this is very challenging, Liu said before the launch. To that end, we have engaged a lot of systemic training and practices. The first element of the Tiangong space station, the Tiahani core module, launched April 28th aboard a heavy lift Long March 5B rocket, China's most powerful launch vehicle, an unpiloted cargo ship named Tianzhou 2 launched May 29 and docked with the airport on the Tiane module eight hours later, delivering fuel, food and space shoots for the Sinzhao 12 astronauts. With the docking of Sinzhao 12 to Tiane forward port Thursday, the entire station stretches nearly 120 feet, about 36 meters long. The Tiahani core module includes astronauts' living quarters, medical equipment, a command and control element, and an airlock and exterior handrails of spacewalks. There are three sleeping berths, one for each astronaut and one toilet on the Tiahani core module, Chinese officials said. The core module of the Chinese space station also has a treadmill and a stationary bicycle for astronauts to get some exercise. Ni and his crewmates will unpack the Tianzhao to supply ship and begin assembly the spacesuits. Chinese engineers upgraded the extravehicular units after the country's first spacewalk in 2008, and the suits are more capable of accommodating astronauts for spacewalks lasting six to seven hours, according to Z. No matter how difficult the mission is, I have every confidence that with very professional ground support and with the coordination and cooperation from my very handsome two colleagues, we will meet all the challenges," Liu said. The Sinzhao 12 astronauts are scheduled to return to Earth in September for a parachute-assisted landing in China's Inner Mongolia province. The landing will target a new recovery zone near the Zikuan spaceport. Around the same time, China will launch Tianzhao 3, the station's next cargo resupply ship. Tiangong means heavenly place in Chinese, while Sinzhao is translated as divine vessel. Tiahane means heavenly harmony and Tianzhou means heavenly vessel. China's next crewed space flight, Sinzhao 13, is scheduled to launch in October, carrying three astronauts for a six-month mission in orbit, according to China Manned Space Agency. Next year, China plans six more launches to support the space station program. Two Long March 5B rockets will boost the Wenqian and Mengxian lab elements to dock with the Tiahane module, completing assembly of the three-segment T-shaped space station. There are also two more cargo spacecraft and two more Sinzhao crew capsules scheduled to launch to the space station in 2022. When completed, the Chinese space station outpost will have a mass around 66 metric ton about one-sixth that of the International Space Station and closer in size to Russia's retired Mir Station. With cargo and crew vehicles temporarily docked, the China's Space Station mass could reach nearly 100 metric tons, officials said. China launched two Tiangong prototype space labs in 2011 and 2016 to test out technologies for the permanently occupied space station. Tiangong-1 space lab hosted two Sensao crew in 2012 and 2013. China's most recent human spaceflight mission, Sinzhao 11, talked with the Tiahane 2 module in 2016. After 10 years of research and development, we have now come to the phase of an orbit assembly and construction of the space station, he said in a pre-launch press conference. He called the construction and operation of the Tiangong station an important symbol for China's economic, technological, and comprehensive strength. The space station will host technology demonstration experiments, biomedical research payloads, and astronomical observations, he said. 
China plans to eventually permit astronauts from potential international partners to visit the Tiangong Space Station, Z said. This will be my first time in space, Tang said. Of course, there will be pressures. I believe there are a lot of unknowns and uncertainties in outer space, but I have confidence that pressure can be transformed into motivation. With confidence, we will definitely succeed with this mission. I have gone through years of training, Tang said. I have a lot of confidence in my team as well as in myself. I am flying to outer space on behalf of my motherland. We will definitely work closely together and build our home in outer space. The aging International Space Station that hosted astronauts from the US, Russia and a number of other countries is set to be decommissioned after 2024. As broader U.S.-Russia relationship deteriorate, Moscow has hinted that it may withdraw from the ISS cooperation in 2025, meaning China could be the only country with a functional space station. Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, also signed an agreement in March with the Chinese National Space Administration to build a base on or around the moon, which they will call the International Scientific Lunar Station. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind, Vande Matram. Thank mm -hmm. you.